Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, it's been a wonderful week. Praise God. Now, I'm trusting God that today we'll get into what the Lord wants us to, to, to talk. Not that the other two days, I was just saying my own. No, I'm trusting the Lord for utterance, even to go into what the Lord has. And I know that you've been blessed so far. Praise God. Now, we're talking about trusting God as your source. And I said, you need to be certain. You need to know that God knows that you are trusting him as your source. You need to know that. Now, how does this work? There are physical things you do that demonstrate your faith in God as your source. Now, for example, when you know that God is your source, one, you will always listen for instructions from him. See? Now let me read something to you in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 1. Now watch this. Paul was speaking here. He says, For as touching the ministering to the saints, it is superfluous for me to write to you. Now what's he saying? Now he said, As touching ministering to the saints. Ministering to the saints. He's not talking about praying for the saints. He's talking about sharing, you know, giving. You know, giving of things, you know, to God's people. He says, consigning it, 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 um, it, it's more like a reputation for me to even talk about it now. What does that mean? He's been talking to them about this thing for a long time. And at this point, they've gotten to that point where they, they know it, they are used to it, and they are acting it. Praise God. So, so he, this is not the first time he's talking to them about it. Actually, he's saying that concerning ministry to the sense, there's no need for me to talk to you about it. Because you already know these things. I've taught you these things, praise God. Now then, ministering to the saints like this is one thing that you do when you know that God is your source. Now, there is no two ways about it. You, you can't escape this. You know why? Because if you're truly, you know, that's one thing I tell people. I say, you know, you see, when it comes to scriptures, there are no arguments. Let's just trust the Spirit of God. See, when we trust the Spirit of God and then we look back at the things that the Spirit of God will make us do, we will have an understanding of what the Word of God says. I'll give you an example. Now, I had a brother who just, who got a job. And after his first month, you know, he came to me with a gift. And then he said, the Lord ministered to him. So he was praying about uh, what, what he's going to do. He's going to start receiving um, pay right now. So he was talking to the Lord about it. And then the Lord said, I want you to do this. Um, the Lord told him that he wanted him to get something for me. So he, 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 he obeyed the Lord and then he got it. Now, when I received it, there was a reason for me to go change it. Now, I, I wanted something, yeah, something like that, but Oh, no, oh, so a different size of it. So, when, okay, I need to go there myself and see and check it by myself. And then he, he gave me, he had to give me the receipt so I can take it to the shop. Now, when I saw the receipt, I, I, I stopped for a moment and I'm like, what's going on here? This is almost your whole pay because I, I knew how much he was being paid. I said, this is almost your whole pay. Why would you do this? And then he said, uh, we really, when, when God told him to get it, he didn't think it was going to be that expensive. So he, he, he was excited too. When he got to get it, he realized. And then he said at that point, he couldn't change his mind because it was a command from God to him. Then I said, you know what? Now, if we're going to put a name to this, do you know you just gave your first fruits? See? Now, nobody told him, you have to give your first fruit. Nobody told him that. Now, he, this is he and God having fellowship together. And then the Lord commanded him what to do. And then he obeyed the Lord. And then he, he wasn't planning that he's going to give first fruit. But you see, because he's working with the Lord, the Lord, you know, the Lord did something that when we look back at it, said, this is what first fruit is. Because the, Lord, the Bible says, honor the Lord with your substance and the first fruit of all your increase. You see that? So it's not about arguing, should we do this or should we not do that? It's about each one of us following the Lord. 
See? Now, it's the same thing with tithing. I tell people there's no need to argue about tithing. If you are of God. Now, there is no one. I put this as a challenge. There is nobody who is truly walking by faith, trusting God in the area of his finances that would tell you it is wrong to tithe. No one. When you see people telling you, oh, um, you're not, yeah, the, the Bible is not clear about tithing, the, I tell you one truth. Look at their lives very well. They are not fully depending on God. Maybe they have something else they are depending on to sustain them. The ones who's really, you know why? It's not about the money. The one who's truly depending on God, you know what he's depending on? Every instruction that the Lord gives to him. So, if he's doing that, then he will just realize that, come, I just realized that I, God always commands me to give certain amount of, of money. And, and hey, look at what, this looks like tithes now. Are you getting what I'm saying? That, that's what you realize. So, so don't get into all those, those arguments. All you need to do is to make sure you are following and obeying the Lord. See, like I said, when you are trusting him as your source, and then he, he knows. How, how do you know he knows? Because of the instructions that he is going to be giving you. Now, when you obey those instructions, those are the things that bring forth miracles. Now, I'm telling you this because this is how I live. I trust God every day. And how, how I know I trust him and how he, I know he knows I trust him is the instructions that he gives. He will tell you where to go. He will tell you who to call. He will tell you what to do on a daily basis. He will tell you what to give. He will tell you how to give. See? So, you will just realize that ministering to the saints is one thing that you do all the time. Praise God. Now, now we're going to continue on this tomorrow see it's getting interesting but i need you to understand this very well praise god until tomorrow get blessed today receive your inheritance in jesus name amen